So now we are going to learn the determination of the dipole moment by temperature method. Determination, determination of dipole moment by temperature method. Determination of uh, dipole moment by temperature method. We already learned the Clausius mosot equation and the Debye equation. And for this method, we are going to rely on the Debye equation. Okay. And from the Debye equation, the molar polarization Pm is equal to epsilon r minus 1 divided by epsilon r plus 2 uh, into Vm. Or we can write like a mm by rho mm divided by rho that is equal to Na by 3 epsilon 0 Na divided by 3 epsilon 0 alpha d alpha d plus mu square mu square divided by 3 k t okay this is in SI units SI units and if uh, we are uh, we are just rearranging this equation. We can write it like uh, E n a by three epsilon zero into alpha d alpha d plus E n a by three epsilon zero into mu square mu square divided by three k into one by t. We can write it like that. And then again we can write it like uh, a, A plus B into 1 by T, okay, where A is equal to, means PM is equal to A plus B into 1 by T, where A is equal to N A alpha D divided by 3 epsilon 0. This is a constant because alpha D is a constant for a particular substance. And B is equal to uh, Na mu square divided by 3 epsilon 0 into 3k or Na mu square divided by 9 epsilon 0 into k. Okay, so we can write it like this. And in other words, we can write it like uh, um, Pm is equal to uh, B into 1 by t plus a okay or it is in the form of y is equal to m x plus c where y is in the place of pm and uh, m is in the place of b and x is in the place of 1 by t and a is in the place of c and you know that y is equal to m x plus c is a straight line equation right it's a straight line equation and therefore, if you are plotting y against uh, x, you will get a straight line with the slope m and y intercept c. In the same way, if you are plotting pm, okay, if you are plotting pm, pm against uh, pm against 1 by t, okay, pm against 1 by t, like this, pm against 1 divided by t you will get a straight line you will get a straight line like this straight line like this and if you are uh, extrapolating the straight line to the pm axis okay and it meets here and this is called the y intercept in our case the y intercept is equal to a this is a and if you are measuring the slope of this uh, straight line the slope of the straight line in our case is equal to b because slope in the case of straight line is m and in place of m we have b here so b is the slope of the straight line and we are particularly interested in the slope of the straight line b because b is equal to b is equal to we have already defined b n a mu square divided by n a mu square divided by 9 epsilon 0 k that is b and that's an important parameter because from this one we can find out mu square just by rearranging this one. So, in other words, we can write 
slope of this pm versus 1 by t uh, graph is equal to n a mu square divided by 9 epsilon 0 k and therefore um, mu square mu square is equal to mu square is equal to 9 epsilon 0 k into slope into slope divided by uh, n a and therefore mu is equal to a uh, root of uh, root of 9 epsilon 0 k into slope divided by n a n a so this is what what is this this is dipole moment or permanent dipole moment so permanent dipole moment uh, can be calculated now from the equation mu is equal to root of 9 epsilon 0 k into slope divided by n a so what are the parameters needed for calculating this mu we need the slope slope of what slope of the pm versus 1 by t curve right so we have to draw the pm versus 1 by t curve so we have to experimentally make that so in order to get a pm value in order to get the pm value what we have to do we can rely on the Debye equation that is pm is equal to epsilon r minus 1 divided by epsilon r plus 2 into mm divided by d okay where epsilon r that is a dielectric constant of the medium dielectric constant of the medium and uh, mm is the molar mass of the substance that we are using d is the density of the substance that we are using so what we can do is we can calculate pm we can calculate pm for different different temperatures okay different temperatures and then calculate pm for different temperatures and then we plot these pms against uh, 1 by t values different 1 by t values so then we will get a straight line like this and slope of this straight line we will get we will get the slope of the straight line and take the value of the slope of the straight line and substitute in this equation and then we will get mu is equal to root of 9 epsilon 0 k in the slope divided by n a where epsilon 0 is the uh, that is a dielectric constant uh, corresponding to the vacuum and k is the Boltzmann constant and uh, slope we can obtain from the graph and the n a is the uh, Avogadro's number and from this one we can calculate the permanent dipole moment and this is called the temperature method so for various temperatures we are we are measuring we are um, measuring the pm value or molar polarization values just by looking into the dielectric constants okay and then uh, we uh, get the dipole moment value so this is called the temperature moment for the temperature method for the determination of uh, dipole moment or determination of dipole moment by temperature method i hope you understood this one and if you have any doubt please don't hesitate to ask me uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned